the one conversation, one conversation that allowed me to make $10,000 in 30 days before the age of 17. Now let's get right into it. What was the conversation? What happened? So long story short, um, I can actually show you my mentor's house. Let me just walk up the street and let me show you his house. Um, long story short, um, a year ago, not a year ago, but last summer I visited my mentor, right? And he was my, uh, if you guys know the story, uh, he was the guy for whom I was mowing the lawn. Uh, long story short, on, on background on that, uh, when I was a kid I was mowing lawns for money. Now I visited this, uh, I, I met this one guy whose name is Oleg, right? And I remember he was, uh, he was like, he had the dream lifestyle I wanted. And uh, I always went to him and asked him for, for advice, for asked him questions. He would always answer, he was really responsive. And then again, I decided to go to him last summer. Yeah, last summer. And uh, my problem back then was productivity because I knew I could do more. I knew I wanted to do more, however, it was hard. By the way, guys, I know a lot of people are struggling with this. That's why I wanted to make this video. So stick till the end if you want to learn how to become more productive, okay? So yeah, back to the story. Um, I, I went to his house, and um, I remember going up to him. Like, we did the small talk. Hey, how are you? How's business? Blah, 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 Giving little updates on on everything. And then he asked me, Rainus, when did you, you come here? What's, what, what's the problem? What, what do you need help with? And uh, I just kind of looked down at my notes, and I thought to myself, fuck, I, I, I need to ask him this. Then I asked him, okay, Oleg, I'm trying to become more productive. I mean, I'm doing everything I can, but I keep on failing, 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 failing. What happens? Why does that happen? I'm, I just became frustrated because everything I felt I touched, nothing was succeeding. Everything was failing. And... Uh, I looked at him like, I don't know, it might be my productivity, it's, I don't fucking know what it is. And then he looked at me, Rainus, um, what, are, what are you doing for productivity? Like, what exercise is something, something what you're doing for productivity? Back then, I, uh, I had downloaded a bunch of apps, I had tried multiple, multiple things, I had, uh, like literally at that time I, I was trying everything meditation applications all that stuff all that stuff now I do know I made a video with the top three apps that helped me become more productive because they actually do help me become more productive but then back then I was literally trying to get apps for everything like tools for everything like if I wanted to run I would try to find the best shoes to run with right I was trying to look for tools 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 that could help me but then he lives in that house yeah that house yeah but then when uh, he looked at me, he was like, why the fuck are you overcomplicating shit? Why the fuck are you looking... Like, literally, he, that guy, he, he's a fucking... Like, he's a savage overall. But he just looked at me, why the fuck are you looking for the right shoes to run with? Why the fuck are you looking for apps to, to, to live with? Right? Back then, he had a, just a Nokia phone. Like, only recently he bought an iPhone. That was, that was pretty weird. <laughs> um, but he just didn't need it. It just made him less productive. It just took focus away from him. And that was the thing that happened to me. With all those apps, with all those tools, those fancy things, it's just all distractions. But he told me, Rainus, you have to stick to the basics. There's nothing more important than sticking to the basics. And I took his advice and I used it for myself. Now, literally, I'm just going to use fitness as an example. If you want to go out there and get a six-pack, you're not going to be looking for the fanciest shoes. You're not going to be looking for the, for the best shirt to do that. No. Just go out there, stick to the basics. Number one, do cardio. Number two, go to the gym. That's it. Number three, eat well. But that's it. Literally, those three steps. You don't need to get the fanciest equipment. You don't need any of that stuff. Right? You can literally do everything with body weight. Stick to the basics. And I see too many people trying to overcomplicate everything. And so they, 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 what happens then is you find excuses why you cannot do something. Oh yeah, I cannot do cold calls because I don't have an iPhone X. I cannot do cold calls because I don't have a fancy CRM. Um, I cannot do... God damn, somebody's calling me again. I cannot do... I cannot go, go to meetings because um, I don't have a video camera. I need that, but I don't have money. And you find, find these excuses which should not be there which don't exist. And this is what a lot of people do. When you meditate, there are people who download apps for meditation. What's meditation at its core? It's finding peace. It's, it's being in silence. Why the fuck do you need an app for that? Okay? 
all that's all that brings to you is just more and more distractions. If you are, if you have more apps that you you, you utilize in your phone, except for Exe, I'm 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 a real advocate of Exe. I like that. Um, but with the apps, if you use more and more apps in your phone, what happens? You tend to use your phone more. If you use your phone more, you might end up on Instagram, Facebook, social media, and uh, you you might lose some time. <laughs> and that's what you're losing. And I was in the same situation, guys. Stick to the basics, with sales as well. With sales as well, you gotta stick to the basics. There, like, you, a lot of people come to me, Rainus. What, what's a tool for this? What's a tool for that? What's a tool for that? No, fuck the tools. Stick to the damn basics. And too many people overcomplicate shit. Oh, I'm not productive. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm hesitating with taking action. There isn't a tool that can help you out. It's just your environment. If you fix your environment, everything can get better. If, you, if you're finding yourself playing a game a lot, that's what I did. Uh, like two weeks ago, I was, uh, I was trying to build... So right now, I'm building two SaaS businesses. And uh, uh, also, I'm, I'm helping two, two people, uh, one, one, of, one of which was my client, uh, build out info products. And a lot of work goes into that. And also, my client work and all that stuff, right? And I remember... When I had some hard work to do, I would just end up playing a video game, right? It was just my escapism. It, it was my problem. And I, and I caught myself in that. I was like, okay, fuck this. I need to fix this. How can I fix this? Okay, I can stop playing the game with my willpower. What's going to happen? Um, I might still opt to play the game. And I was like, okay, shit. I need to do something that I don't want to do because I like to play the game. I need to uninstall the game. As simple as that, you fix the environment. I cannot physically pay, play the game anymore. So I'm not doing that. It's as simple as that. Fix your environment. If you're watching t too much TV, get rid of the TV. If, you, if you're using uh, your phone too much when you're working, when you're working, just throw the phone away. Like fucking yeet it somewhere you don't know where it is and just work. When somebody has to call you, fuck them. They're not as important as your work. Okay? That's, that's what you want to do. You want to fix your environment because that's step one. Success. That's step one to becoming more productive. Step one to like, what well, that helped me earn 10K. Because if you, if your environment is right, you can focus on the right things. You do not waste your time playing video games. You do not waste your time on social media. You focus on the right things. You focus on what matters. The only way to do this is with your environment. Uh, a problem in your environment, like a virus in your environment, that can be a TV, that can be technology, that can be your friends. Get rid of that. Okay. If you find a virus in your, in your environment, get rid of that. That's the easiest way to do it. Because, of course, you can think to yourself, if I have friends that always want to go out on Fridays, I can just pressure myself not to go. I can just, with my willpower, I can do something like, oh, fuck. With my willpower, I, I can, like, pressure myself, okay, I'm going to stay in home, I'm going to work, work, work. What's going to happen with willpower? Your willpower is like a muscle. If you've ever been to the gym, you know that after a while, your muscles get sore, they get tired. The same thing happens to your willpower. This is why you're less likely to stick to your commitment at the evening of the day. Because your willpower is limited. It needs training to, to, for it to become stronger. And it's not going to happen overnight. What can you do overnight is fix your fucking environment. Find the viruses. Get them out of your environment. Live like that. And it's going to help you become more productive. If you, if you find yourself not remembering the tasks you need to do, simply write them down. Environment. Create habits. Um, if, you, if you see habits that are... If, if you're checking your phone too much, you can either use Exe, which I talked about in the, in the last... Uh, I think it was the last, uh, last couple of videos. I'm going to link it somewhere. Like, you see, it, it's all about fixing stuff. It's all about finding the solution, finding the virus, killing it, and replacing it with something better. You don't just completely eliminate something. You replace it. That's a better word for it. Fix your damn environment. So, guys, thank you so much for watching.